Welcome to the 8th part of the video. So till now we have learned how to add the image on some specific coordinates of the screen. Now in this video we will learn how to make the image falling from top to down. Basically in this video we will learn how to make the car appear from top to down. So without further ado let's start coding. The very first thing we have to set the enemy speed or the obstacle speed. So, so whenever uh, one thing I have to remember here, whenever I'm reference, whenever I'm saying enemy or the obstacle, I am just pointing out the car or the enemy car. That's it. So first we have to define the speed of the car or the speed of the obstacle. So let's say obstacle speed equal to 10 pixel. We'll see how fast it will go. So, okay. Now. Then we have to define the number of obstacle or the number of car. So as of now, we will assign obstacle equal to zero. For down to lane, it will get increased randomly. Okay. So as of now, OBS equal to zero. OBS means the obstacle. So just like we have the x coordinate, x change variable for the you know x coordinates of our car, we should have y coordinate change for the enemy because if you'll see the game window, the car will come from like this. So the Y coordinates keep on changing. So let's have that variable here. Y change equal to zero. Okay. Then we have to, you know, set the some starting value for the enemy to come. Like there should be some space due, you know, fixed length. Like the, the enemy will come till from here, this point to this point. So you know like it has to be appear from the range you can say 200 to 650 or 660 okay which is the width of the actual road like excluding the road border area you can see here so the enemy should come in the range of 200 to 650 to 200 to 650 yeah so let's write that thing yep let's name it obs x equal to random dot rand range from 200 to 650 okay and then it should come and go within a certain range of y coordinates like the car will appear from this point and then will vanish or disappear till this point up to this point so then so we have the enemy has to appear from the top of the screen okay firstly so for that we have to give some variable like obs underscore y equal to minus 750 not zero because if we will assign zero the value the uh, zero exists here so we have to give some value from 750 because 50 you can say this width sorry this height of this uh, name caption thing it's 50 so we are assuming from minus 750 the card starting point of the enemies yes Okay, after this, the very most like the, the most important thing we have to know our enemy size or the enemy, enemy di dimension because without, without knowing it, our enemy size, we should not fight. So we have to uh, give, you know, assign the vari variable for enemy dimension. If you remember in the pre previous video, I have showed you the dimension of our car. Okay, that goes same for the obstacle also okay so we can have some variable here let's say enemy with sorry 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 equal to 56 and enemy height equal to 125 okay okay so i think we have defined every variable or everything okay now just quickly move to the game loop okay and in order to make that enemy of the car appear from top to down we have to update the y coordinate of the obstacle okay so we have to go inside the game loop okay sorry we already in the game loop my bad okay so after after calling background function here we have to you know like we have to update the y coordinate of the obstacle so obs y minus equal to obstacle Speed slash four. Okay, you can say like that. And tuple because all the value will accept except in uh, tuple only. Okay. 
what does this line mean exactly like whenever the car will appear it will come randomly like it will go or it will fall from from here this point to end of the screen by obstacle speed slash four by that much value you will get an idea once the car will appear and vanish now after this we have to call our function or the obstacle function let's say obstacle okay and this function will accept three arguments first the x coordinates obstacle x obstacle y coordinates and the obstacle okay okay so now after calling this obstacle function we have to again or we have to again update the y coordinates for the obstacle y or if we will not call the y coordinates will call if will sorry okay so after this calling obstacle function we need to update the y coordinates for the obstacle if we will not updating the y coordinates the y coordinate will keep on decreasing if you will see here if the, suppose the car is coming from this point okay so we have already updating it with this this line we are already you know increasing the you can say increasing the obs y coordinates okay so after calling the function we have to again decrease the value so that the car will again start appearing from the top so in order to do that we have to again you know decrease the value because it's, it will keep on increasing from this point to this point again it has to go in the uh, obstacle function after that it should again start from from this position i hope it is clear for you like the moment it goes beyond the screen again it should come from again it should appear from the starting point okay so for that we have to again update obs underscore y plus equal to obstacle speed okay okay so all set now we have to we are right it's the right time to define the obstacle function okay let's just go over and yes we can def define here def obstacle sorry obs start x sorry obs x obs y and obs okay now before like going further uh like all the, uh, i already share i already mentioned in the previous video also all the enemies or the all the car images are there in my github link which i will share you in the description please download it in your directory okay then after that we are good to go from here okay so after this any like we have to make the car you know appear randomly so after this we have to make a condition if obs equal to equal to zero obs pick that will go that will for the obstacles uh, obstacle picture or the basically the enemy car speed uh, sorry picture so obs pick equal to by game dot image dot load okay let's see the car images one second yes okay so we have car one two three four five six seven seven images so we can use here okay first we'll use from car two okay car two dot jpg okay lf obs equal to equal to one then obs pick equal to by game dot image dot load okay car 3 dot jpg and then we can copy this line and paste it here for car 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 we have 7 car so here condition will 2 3 4 5 here 4 five six seven okay perfect okay so as we know that image has been loaded but we have to make that image appear through blit method 
so here will be here we have to add that blit method screen dot blit the source will be the obs pick sorry and then the destination will be obs x and obs y that's it sorry for the pop-up okay just save this and run the code we'll see okay name random is not defined oh okay 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 we are using the random module we haven't imported in the code okay 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 we have to import yes we have to import here import random save it and now again run the code i hope this time we will not face any issue okay okay perfect 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 so we saw that the enemy is coming from top okay and it's going down so that's it in this video we will we have just learned about this adding the enemy or the car from top to down in the next video we'll learn how to you know how to make that car or the enemy make get crashed like whenever the car touches like our car touches the enemy it the message should get appear like your car crashed or something like that so that's it Th this video got over if you find anything you know any issue any error you find any portion confusing confusing please feel free to ask in the comment section i will help you out in that so till then keep coding keep learning thank you we'll see you in the next video